Um, for those of you who don't know, we are in Korea right now and Lily and I were fortunate enough to go to M Countdown on May 9th, 2019. So, uh, we at first we actually went to SBS's The Show, and then we also attended M Countdown. Disclaimer, M Countdown is better. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you were to choose between two, choose M Countdown. Yeah. But basically this is a little informative video about how to attend M Countdown, what we did, the process of like going into the studio, uh, what happened during the live performances, and just kind of like a little insight for you guys who are interested, who might want to attend M Countdown when you're in Korea as well, because I think that type of information would be very helpful. So first off, the registration process. So um, SM actually has this thing called SM Travel M Culture thing. Um, so we'll link all the important links below, but basically what it is is um, a travel type of agency based off of SM and so on there they have a lot of um, SM related concerts, concerts um, and stuff like that. Showcases. Yeah, so they'll announce those and you're able to get those only for international fans, right? Those are specifically limited and um, they sell out really fast so you kind of have to be on it, right? I had the Twitter notice on for that uh, specific account yeah so that uh once it like tweeted that they were on sale we went there right away right yeah so, so they yeah so you can they explain. they tweeted it and um i went to the because i was buying it for vicky because vicky's out um but they tweeted that i was like oh ticket sales are open so we went to the website we'll put like the link in the description and um there's single package and there's double package so obviously if you're going by yourself get the single package but because it was us two we got the double package yes um so basically they'll have like different days so make sure you're clicking the right days so it'll be like this date this date this date and then like following along that row it'll be like single or double and then you'll click um so after clicking that you just like scroll all the way down i think and then just continue and then if you make it so the problem with us is that it presumably was sold out so we thought we like it literally sold out within seconds um but then like i just stayed on it for maybe 15 minutes or so and i kept refreshing just to like double check and see and then it finally opened so it turns out like it wasn't even sold out they just tweeted that the ticket sales were open before they actually even opened it so make sure if that does happen like just stay on for a while and just just stay see. stand by yeah basically because i honestly don't think it's gonna sell out that fast like for us it was like within seconds that it seemed like it did it but it just wasn't open yet so just stay on it in case that happens so again click what you want to do go down and then you're gonna have to fill out all your information so it's gonna be like name and then there's this one portion where it's like really specific so you need to have your um flight info ready you need to say like what time you're departing and then arriving and then where you're where you're departing from and then you're obviously you're arriving in seoul or something like that um and then like your flight number it's like pretty specific but the thing is you don't really need it for the um actual check-in you just need your passport um so it's not that big of a deal but still just have that information ready just in case and then yeah you fill that out make the payment through paypal um is one of the options i think there's another option but paypal is like i think the, the most, most efficient, efficient yeah, yeah for everyone and then after that that's you it. get the confirmation email whichever email you use and yeah and it costed around um on the site i think it was 88 usd uh for us it was 115 100 to 10 115 uh, canadian dollars so that's roughly it's a bit pricey but for what we experienced it was pretty much worth it hi tracy um, but yeah, so moving on to the actual date of the show, we received the confirmation voucher, which is in the personal notice on your SM travel, whatever account. Yeah, so you got a confirmation voucher and using that, you're going to present that to the um, SM staff at the studio. So basically on the day of the show that you're, you're going to have to get there around three o'clock. Um, but like you can go earlier yeah. because there's like that staircase you can watch idols come up through so yeah like you can literally go there and just look at idols going up and down going to the washer and whatever um, because it's weird the layout is really weird but yeah um, the washroom is like right beside where the check-in line is yeah. so it's like I don't know I don't know why they let idols get so close to fans but whatever yeah. um, so basically they have an entire schedule like that they'll email you get there by three o'clock no later than this time um, you check there's going to be an English line, a Chinese line, and a Japanese line. You have to get into your desired line. And then um, when the time comes, I think check-in is at 3 o'clock. So then um, you line up, 
You'll have a specific person checking your passport and checking off your name. You have to show that voucher that you have and then um, they'll give you a wristband with the number on it and that will be your number for the show basically, right? And then afterwards, um, the tour leaders, or not even the leaders, like yeah. they'll choose one person from each group to do yeah. rock, paper, scissors. And then that decides who gets let's let in first. So luckily for us, we were we got second. So it was like the Chi Chinese, Chinese went in first, then us, and then the Japanese went in after us. But honestly, the like I guess the pit, as you can call it, is pretty wide. So yeah, even though really we were wide. let in second, we were like we were able to go off to the side and actually get, be front like, row. Yeah. Um, but that's also because the Chinese group was pretty small in comparison to the Japanese and mm -hmm. English group. Um, but yeah, the Japan luckily the Japanese group was like really, really long, but the thing is they were last. So luckily they weren't in front of us or else we probably wouldn't have gotten barricade. Um, but yeah, so oh, that- yeah. Cut in. Um, they also give a little tour at 4 o'clock. So um, yeah, it's not really a tour. They kind of just take you around, but like it's something that's like nice to kill time. So yeah. Um, that that's like 20 minutes and then you're gonna have to wait in this outside the studio for about like an hour and a mm -hmm. half They bring you up um, At like 420 and then yeah, and then they make everyone like sit down in rows and like let me tell you Dress comfortably to sit. I was wearing like a tight skirt and like oh my god my legs were killing me So dress comfortably because you're gonna sit there until like 550 ish. That's when they let you in yeah, and even in the position that you're sitting in, I was wearing like comfy clothes, but like the thing is like my feet, I was losing blood in my feet, right? Because we were all squished together as well. And they, after they let us sit down, they uh, bought in all the fan clubs and that, like they were squishing everybody in and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, you're gonna have to wait there for about an hour and a half. They let us in at like 5.40, 5.50. 5.50, um, And then that's when uh, we got to uh, go up to the front and the sh I want to say inside is actually really really cool like it's so amazing to see just like the studio itself rather than on TV it's like really different it's a lot larger smaller than it's I smaller. thought it's a lot smaller than I thought but it's really cool and um yeah um I guess that's mainly the whole process of how you get into M Countdown um Ooh, for the S for SM specifically, um, they actually give you a goodie bag. So the, um, I don't know if this is every time, but maybe they just have extras. The time. They have um, okay. I think this one's extra, but like basically, uh, why they want you there at three o'clock is to get the wristband, but also to do the draw. They do that every time, and the draw is like you get to win like goodies or whatever. Um, but then they give everybody like this like little goodie bag, and it has like. As some global package and then there's like a bunch of stuff like I don't know what this is but it looks like notepads TV experience. I think if you're, if you're a double package you only get this because I saw people that were just alone and they got like this and I think a tote bag or something like that oh I don't know yeah so I guess it's different for every like week but um yeah and then I guess they had leftover 101 fans so they gave us all 101 fans so it's really cool it's pretty strong too yeah gonna be useful for hot weather. That was my nails. Oh my god. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> so that was um, basically the whole entire process. So yeah. I guess we'll move on to like interactions and stuff like that. Oh my god. It was really worth it guys. Like, okay, but okay. Just a disclaimer though, the week we went, like there was a lot of new rookie groups. Yes. The biggest group I would say is like New East and the boys. Yeah. There's also N Flying, but like the rest were like One the Nine, Very Very, um, Target, New Kid, new kid Spectrum, um, Spectrum, and those are Hot all. Place. Yeah. Um, there's also Dong Han. He's not really like a rookie, I would say, but like. Oh, Wu Xiang. Oh, Eric Nam was there too. But like, since they were rookie groups, they're still not like rookie mentality and like. They give everybody we attention. A lot of fan service. Um, yeah, we love Jin Sung. It's Jin Sung Nation. Yeah, because. so what, uh, <laughs> one of the nines, Jin Sung specifically, he gave us a lot of um, so interactions, especially like while we were waiting by the staircase mm. um, in line for our wristbands and stuff like that. He like came down to the washroom a bunch of times and like we'll like wave and he'll Depression like wave hours. and smile. Like every damn time we'd wave, he'd wave back, and it was just like we waved at him during the like the recording after the recording when they were leaving. Oh my god, I love him. Yeah, even the boys from New Kids and Spectrum, yeah. they oh. were very very like the cutest boys. Fan service mm -hmm. like. Um, you get a lot during the encore stage. Yeah, definitely. They all because they all line and up like, and they're like, hey. But we were just focused on like 
cheering for New Year's because we knew we, they were oh, gonna yeah. win. They got their second win. We <laughs> got to witness win. that. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, we actually got quite a bit of interaction from newbies too. It was like very subtle mm -hmm. during their encore stage. Um, like we'll, we were pretty loud for international fans, I must say. Um, but yeah, there was like a lot that went on. But a lot of the rookie groups gave us a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. I, there's like too many to remember. But yeah, specifically the boys. Though, that was like the time of our life. <laughs> I did get with that. Uh, if you hear a lot of like hollering in the boys' uh, cam performance, whatever, yeah, um, that's us. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I guess, is there any other interactions we want to talk about? I don't know if there was any. Oh, Eric Nam, there was a lot. Yeah. He, he was like. Honestly, like, if there's just so many interactions. Yeah. Um, like, we can't list them all, but. Yeah. I honestly, I feel like if they were, there were like bigger groups, I can't say for sure that you'd get as much in, like, Interaction as not only that but because um, it would have been hard a lot harder to even get tickets That's true because it'll be very limited and it'll sell out really fast We were just really lucky that we were able to get those tickets specifically We didn't know which groups would be coming back yeah. at that time. We just kind of like chose a random date um, So if you really want to see your faves and make sure you know when they're coming back and then choose that date to like yeah think. But yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it, it. Um, it's a good fun time. Like, it's a fun time. Like fun. I definitely recommend it to like newcomers who are coming to Korea for the mm -hmm. first time. Um, the, um, the music show process and like recording and behind the scenes is really interesting. If you're into production stuff like that, it'll like really catch your eye. Um, but yeah. And then after the recording, everyone goes outside. And like if you're if, if you stand, you're probably watching this. But um, like all those previews of them like with the staircase and like the elevators there so basically that's like right outside so everyone waits outside that glass door and you'll see most of the idols will like come up from downstairs the basement so you'll be able to like wave to them um when they're exiting and then they'll leave and some idols don't the boys anyways <laughs> <laughs> some idols just trying to trick you and go up and down yeah. the elevator like and non-stop like, and don't even leave and then some cars just like yeet the yeah. hell out of there but so if you want to stay then you can stay and then say bye to them and then you could go to the front and like see the cars come out because they typically come out and like depending on who it is they'll roll down the window and say one last time like bye um we'll insert a few of our clips maybe oh gosh <laughs> i will cut out embarrassing parts but <gasps> we'll insert a few of our interaction clips yeah <laughs> That guy, I like him. <laughs> Who this? Oh, it's Jisung. 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 Um, but yeah, that that be M countdown, y'all. That be M countdown. So yeah, um, if you do go, have fun. Have fun. Let us know in the comments below if you're going, and if you have any questions, we'll try to answer them mm -hmm. to the best of our abilities. But yeah, we hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.